was 16 years. My father sat me down and mentioned three things to me, and they have guided me throughout my life. He said, number one, it's hard. Every lady you meet on the surface of the earth is your enemy, except the one that you have married. And when it comes to marriage, I'm there for you. If you succeed in entering university and you want me to marry for you, I will do it. So, up for ladies, no go area. But today, young boy of 18, 19, 15, subhanallah. <laughs> to do what married people are doing. <laughs> I am telling you, anyone who is like that, or who intends to be like that, I want to say and tell you rightly that your mind is not working well. You have to be taken to anchor for for mental prison. You are sick. If you don't have any track record to show, those who engage in those things, whether ladies or, or gents, look at your track record. They can never be anybody in society. The lady who stupidly gives into this stupid human being will find her belly swelling and nothing is more painful in life when father and mother see that their daughter is pregnant and they sit her down and start to ask who did this to you la ilaha illallah <laughs> We are living in difficult times. So the desire for sex, desire for sex, is a desire. But that desire, you need to get it when you have gone through your education, you go through university, and you are gainfully employed. Then you tell your father, Daddy, I'm now ready for marriage, so get me a wife. That is the time for it. That is the time for that thing. So it's a desire. So if you are unable to control it, then you are not a human being. It has to be controlled. And that desire, we don't meet its demand on the street. Its demand is met in an organized manner. What do I mean by that? You have to go and knock. But if you are given, then a date is set for the marriage ceremony. Then you get your husband. If you do not do that, then you become dog-like. Dog. Huh? A dog, one is coming from here. Another one is coming from here. They meet under the tree here. And they start acting. <laughs> Human beings are not supposed to be like that. And because that thing is dangerous, listen to the words of Allah and Surah al Israel. That never get close to fornication, for it paves the way for all other evils. And listen to the words of the greatest woman being who ever lived, Muhammad sallallahu He was talking about zina, fornication and adultery. That if it becomes rampant in society, that sicknesses, that never happens. During the time of our father, forefathers will become rampant. So now, syphilis, HIV, and so 